We're out here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida, filming some guys getting ready for this year's upcoming NFL Draft. But in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how to color grade your footage inside of LumaFusion on the iPad M2 Pro. Let's get straight into it. Before we jump into LumaFusion, you're going to want to download and import some color preset LUTs into your software. Now color preset LUTs, they make the color grading process smoother and faster. So we're gonna go ahead and find some off the internet. Now, this video is not sponsored, but the company that I do recommend if you edit in LumaFusion and try to color grade is a company called Editor's Keys. So, we're gonna hop into our web browser and type in Editor's Keys Free LUTs and click the first website. Now, as you can see, there's two packs, and these are the two that I'll recommend you get. They're pretty affordable. You can basically get both of them for under $20. With me shooting a lot of sports, I shoot outdoors a lot. So we're gonna start off with this one first. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to have to convert your footage. Now me, I shoot in a log profile, which gives you the flattest image possible, which is what you want so that you can play with your colors a little bit. But in doing that, you have to convert your footage before you add any color presets or do any color corrections or adjustments. So double tap your clip it's going to take you to this screen and you're going to want to go to your LUTs which is this second option this little Q option right here now you can see these are the LUTs we just downloaded from editors keys you're going to want to scroll down a little bit to the regular LUTs now LumaFusion has a built-in Rec 709 converter which you can use and makes the process very simple I use the first one the ProLoss Apple Log Rec 709 converter. You just tap it and add that on there. And as you can see, it gives the footage a little bit of life, but it hasn't fully graded yet. For daytime footage, I usually only use between about two to three of these LUTs. But my go-to option, especially for daylight scenarios or outside scenarios, is Arctic Glow. You're going to want to come over to this little paint icon tab to get your regular color presets. Now you're gonna wanna add an original color preset and when you add it, it doesn't do anything. This is just to make your adjustments as far as shadows and highlights and brightness and stuff like that. You're gonna scroll down so you see the highlight amount tab. And me personally, I bring this tab down to about 0.50 to 0.40 just to bring those highlights down and kind of balance the image. I'll bring it down to about 0.45. That you can see the highlights, they look, they look a lot more normal now. And if it's still a little bit too bright for you, because I personally don't recommend going below maybe like point, point 0.40 at the max. If it's still a little bit too bright, you can turn up your gamma just a little bit, maybe like 0.10, just a little bit to bring down the brightness of the footage. But that's a wrap on my color grading process. Using the iPad M2 Pro and LumaFusion, like I said before, I feel like my process is pretty simple and straight to the point. But if you do have any questions regarding color grading or anything else, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. I'm not Hollywood, and probably at the time of this video, I don't have any subscribers, so I'm gonna see your comment, I'm gonna respond. And if it's too long for me to respond, I'm gonna make a video on it. So don't be afraid to leave any comments and also let me know what other videos y'all want to see on the channel, whether it's tutorials, behind the scenes, or shit about work. Anything y'all want to see, drop it down in the comments. But until next time, keep God in your life, keep working, keep grinding, keep filming, keep editing, keep doing what you do, and I'll see y'all on the next one.